even if you don't like division and sometimes have some difficulty with it, you'll find that algebra problems involving division are often easier because you're undoing the division, which means that you're actually going to be using multiplication. So to solve this, we want to actually multiply each side by 13 because multiplying by 13 is going to have the effect of canceling out that denominator. Of course, if I multiply the left side by 13, I have to do the same to the right. So x is going to be negative 4 times 13, which is equal to negative 52. So again, if you want to solve a division problem, you multiply by the denominator, which cancels out the denominator, and then you have to do the same to the other side. Let's just finish with a quick check. This is admittedly a case where the check might be uh, more difficult than the problem itself. But if we were to check this, we would do negative 52 and make sure that when we divide that by 13, that that is actually equal to negative 4. So I would do 13 into 52, um, which does go four times. And because this is negative, the whole thing would be negative. So this is equal to negative 4, and it does check out. Thank you.